Hello, Philippa Kitty Patia here, and in this um, a screen recording, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple sales page in Jotform using Jotform. So you'd use this if you uh, don't have your own website, if you uh, are unable to invest in something like lead pages at the moment. Um, so let's get into it. So Jotform, you just go to www jotform.com and let's just take a look at that pricing before we get into it so you can totally just start off with the free plan um, and that free plan gives you 100 monthly submissions so that's people filling out your forms but what we want to look at here because we're doing sales page is the payment so at the moment you receive 10 payments come through and that's 10 payments throughout the whole plan. So not 10 payments per month. So once you have reached your 10 payments, then you'll need to subscribe to their premium um, plan, which is $9.95 and you get a thousand payments a month, which is pretty awesome. So we're just gonna start with the free one. And um, yeah, that's all we need at the moment until we start getting more uh, payments coming through. So let's go sign up, uh, put your username in, I'll just put a new, I'll just, start in, I'll just do a new account, I've already got an account with Jotform but I'll do another one. Alright, I think we're in. From here, all you need to do is go to My Forms. And you can see when you have forms created, they'll just all show up in here, but at the moment we don't have any. So let's go to Create Form. We'll go to Blank Form. And this is just where you start adding everything in. So you can see here on the left, we've got all the form tools. We've got quick tools here just to um, make it quick for you. Uh, survey tools if you want to do a survey, payments. Um, we're just going to be using PayPal for this one and then widgets if you want to add other stuff in. For this one, we're just going to put in a heading. Now in this heading, we can put in a header image or you can just put in text. I like to put in an image and then I like to put my header text um, uh, in the text option, which I'll show you next. I, you can uh, upload an image file here. I've already got, no I don't because this is a new account. All right, let's upload a new image. Okay, so this is the header image I'm gonna use for my email course. I'm gonna delete this text on this side there. All right, next I'm gonna put some text in and in here is where I'm going to um, explain what this course is about and why people should buy it. Now I already have this course uh, set up here so I'm just going to copy and paste the copy I have for it um, from my actual sales page onto this one. Alright let's just copy all of that. You can format it however you want to. Why is that weird? However you want to format it. I don't know. Let's not muck around with that. Let's just start putting this in. So just putting in all your copy that you want to put in that is going to tell people why they should buy your thing that you're offering them. All right, so let's just leave it. Uh, let's just do this. Um, get started 
now fill in the form below to sign up. All right. That's going to look a bit ugly, I think, when it gets onto the page. Yeah, it does look ugly. But you can play around with yours and make it... I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to delete all this bit. You can play around with yours and make it look a bit better than I've got here. Okay, that's all the ugly bits gone. Complete. All right. We've got our image up here. We've got what our um, our copy to start selling people into the program. And now we're going to start putting in the form. So you can do a quick tool. So I do full name, email, and you can also put in other um, options in here. So you can put in. Skype ID if you need that and then maybe phone number you might need their phone number for whatever reason maybe you need to call them um, time zone if you need to know what time zone they're in so you know what time to call them you put in drop down boxes radio buttons all of this stuff here all right next what we're going to do delete that is put in our payment button. So we just go to PayPal and then we need to configure it. So your PayPal account, that's just the email address that you have set up with PayPal. So it's just the one that you use to log in. You don't, oh, for this one I don't need the shipment address, I'm not shipping anything, so I'm gonna go no. Uh, because I'm selling all over the world, I like to use the US dollars, but you can change to Australian dollars if you want to. Next, I want to sell a product. So you can do sell subscriptions, um, collect donations, but we're going to do a search, uh, sell a product. So we've got here two options. Users can choose only one option. Users can select multiple products. Usually with my stuff, it's all just one product. All right, I'm going to add a new thing. Buy right, and sell your damn program. Price, we're going to put it at $2.97. I don't usually put an image URL in there, and if it's only one product, I selected this by default and save product. So you can also add another thing as well. Add the quantity if you have selling sessions and someone wants to buy like five sessions at once, you can do that. Let's save that. All right, so if you have you know multiple things that you want to sell off this page, multiple tiers, multiple levels, then you can add new products in accordingly. Um, there is only one. Yeah, or we'll display it on the form. All right, so we've got coupon shipping taxes. So we can add coupons here if you want to give people um, discounts and stuff. Put in shipping costs, taxes costs as well. Next, finished. All right, so that's all done. Um, I'll just put in here, don't need to put in my products. Alright, so once that is all done and they press submit, so once I've filled out the details, press submit, what will happen is they'll be sent to a PayPal page and we, let's go have, let's go check that out. Before we do that, um, let's finish up here in drop form. So what I like to do is make all of these options required. So people have to fill them out. All right, and obviously that's required. Um, let's give this a title. So write and sell your damn program. Make sure you save it and all right so what we want to do now is go to the setup and embed option um, in here is where you can play around with uh, all the different uh, colors and looks and everything you do I want to get out of that get out so if you want to make it look a bit better you just go through here and um, 
change all the colors and all of that, but we won't go through that. You can play around with that. The themes, what we want to do is go to emails, click on notification, and the reply to settings. So we want to make sure that the recipient email is yours. The sender name, uh, I just usually put it in the drop form sender name. Email for their reply to email. Next. Um, and you can, this is the email that you will receive when a new submission comes through. So this just depends on what you want to see. So a new submission, uh, right, it'll say new submission, right, say our program, or you put something in really motivating, like, yeah, you've just got a new sale or something. And then these are just the details that someone has put in. You can change it all up as well. So finish. Another thing you can do is add a new email and uh, put it in a autoresponder. So this is an email someone will, or person that puts a submission through will receive uh, once they have um, paid and stuff. So you can send them a welcome email or whatever you want to do. So sender name is me. Sender email is uh, yeah, so that's your one. Uh, I'm going to leave that out though. It's too complicated. Let's just do no reply at drop form. And reply to emails, what we want is your email address. Recipient email would be their email address. So that's what we're putting in there. Next is where you want to change the subject so that you can say, you know, welcome or your next steps, or whatever you want to do. And in here, you'll write them a little message, what you want to tell them. Uh, you can delete all of this if you don't want them to see what they've just put in, or you can keep it there. So this is what they'll receive after they um, filled in your form and paid. Okay? All right, so once you've done that, and save it. There's a thank you option as well. So... I like to send people to a custom URL. Um, I'll create that on my website. If you don't, can't be bothered doing it, if you don't want to do it, then all you can do is do the default thank you page or send them a thank you message. So what will happen is after they've filled out this, um, the whole form will be replaced by this message. All right, embed form. This is if you. Uh, this is where you get the link from. So this is the link that you use to send people to your form. You can also embed this form onto your website if you have one up already. So you just. I usually just play around with the embed code, the source code, and the iframe code. Um, sometimes one of them works, and sometimes it doesn't. So just grab whichever one works. Uh, usually it's the iframe code that works well. So you just copy all of that and paste it into your website that's a little bit advanced a bit on the techie side otherwise just use this link here you can use a link shortener such as bit.ly so if you go to bit.ly and if you sign up you'll be able to customize your links so this is one that I've signed up for and you can put this link here so if I put that in here Uh, then I can also customize it. So I can go right and sell program. So then when I share this link, this is the link that I share. So it just looks a bit better than using that one there. Okay. All right, so that is that. Um, let's take a look at it. Oh, let's look at it on a proper page. All right, I need to go in and delete that little box, that little line thingy. But this is your page, and if you would have made it look a bit better than mine, it'll probably look better. Um, so this is your message that you're telling people, and here is your form. So let's fill that out, and I'll show you how it goes to um, it'll go to your PayPal. I'll go to their PayPal.
Okay, well I can't put that email address in because it's the same as my PayPal email address. The PayPal email address file. Oh, okay. I did my email address wrong in here. So if you wanted to go and edit your PayPal settings, click on that little wand and fix up your stuff. Next, 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 finish. All right. Hopefully that'll work. All right, there you go. So now I just fill in my details and once someone has bought it, so you'll get a notification and then you can start um, setting up your sessions. Alrighty, that's it for how to set up your job form, form um, creating a sales page with it. And yeah, thank you for listening.